am I doing here? I'm going to take these little studs on the top of this thing and I'm going to attempt to mill them off so they can be beaten out and then they put studs in their place. This is for a Volkswagen GTI differential gear. So all I'm going to do is use these buttons here and manual it around so I don't have to make a program for this. So I'll basically be using this like a regular mill would be, regular manual mill, just really easy with these buttons here. I am going to touch the Heimer off on this little flat right here. I assume it's the same all the way around, at least that would make sense from a manufacturing standpoint at least. So touch the probe off, the Heimer probe around here, and then I know how exactly how far to go with this end mill here. And this is a half inch end mill. And I want to turn this thing down to the low speed setting. Th these are fairly hard, however they're not that hard because I was still able to dig into it with a file. And a rather crappy file at that. Now on this one right here, I stopped probably somewhere around five thousandths above this flat, and then I just want to sort of manual it over down. I want to leave like a thousandths between this flat right here and with this rivet thing, whatever you want to call it. So I leave a thousandths there, and then basically just picks up everything out here on the side. That's sort of what it did for the rest of these, and I hope that that's thin enough where I can just press this thing down through. I'm going to get a Harbor Freight junker in hopes that I might put a hydraulic cylinder on it someday. But for now the bottle jack will do and hopefully like 12 tons or 20 tons wherever I get we'll press this down through. Hopefully. So right here I'm just going to sort of manual this thing down a thousandths at a time until I get close to where I know the top of that flat is. And I basically just want to check to make sure I'm not going to hit the flat. Not a huge deal if I do but I would rather just not hit that flat right there because that's where the studs are going to sit as far as I know. Not 100% sure but either way you don't want to mess with that. Just barely a little bit of material left there and it all sort of picked up from the side as well. Now I sort of just want to try this for fun but I have this high speed steel 27 64th drill and that's the biggest drill that I have that's decent quality high speed steel and I got this tip from Blue Hands video follow him here from an Instagram post I'm not sure what the shaft diameter of these rivet things are I'm not sure what they are so I sort of want to manual this out and see see what we come up with basically he said you can manual it down far enough and the head will just pop off after you get so far I assume the drill point the drill tip right here will go below the gear but then the head will just pop off if this is the correct size I'm, not, I'm gonna be conservative like I always am and just test this sucker out and see what happens We turned it down to 900 RPM and that seemed to really give it a nice chip and a nice spiral coming off the drill bit. The thing is getting it lined up right in the middle of that, of that rivet and that's the hardest thing. I just really wanted to try that to see what might happen and I think I'm going to stick with the end mill only because I feel slightly more comfortable with it. Drilling blind like that isn't really what I would like to do. I don't know, it just seems like it works better for me and I feel slightly more calm about it. And I know you're probably thinking, hey idiot, take the Heimer and probe on each side of this and find the exact middle of that. I could do that. I could definitely do that. But, you see how many of these things there are? Too many for me to do that for each one of them. I think I'm going to call it good for this one. Like I said, I'm going to get that press. He didn't, I think he was going to try and punch him out somehow. I don't really know how, but I need a press anyway just because.
because when I get the CNC plasma going at some point, I'll be needing to bend some sheet metal, so I was going to get one of those V dies for that. So you've seen me do this like a thousand times before. This is the Fiesta ST short throw shift kit palette. I just got to run 10 complete assemblies and put them up on the website. On next week's video, I want to do a follow up with this with this differential here. I want to see when I get the new bearing press thing from Harbor Freight. I want to follow up to see if I can actually do it. I don't know if I can actually do it or not, but we'll see. Hopefully 12 tons or 20 tons will press those rivets out. But anyway, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.